Hi everyone, Kevin here. Today, I wanna to show you the five best Android emulators for PC. With an Android emulator, you can run and play any Android app or game on your PC. So why would you wanna do that? Well, let's say you're playing a game. You can play the game on the big screen. You also get access to a mouse and keyboard. And with that, trust me, you can own the competition. Also, you no longer have to worry about battery life. Also, there are some Android apps that just don't have a comparable experience on the PC. So with this, you can run any Android app that you want. Or maybe you're a developer and you just wanna see what your app looks like on the PC. You can run your app. In this video today, we're going to focus purely on emulators. So we're not going to consider any development apps like Android Studio. Also, these apps tend to be fairly resource intensive, so you need at least a somewhat capable PC. All right, let's check these out. First up, we have BlueStacks, and this is one of the most well-known and most used emulators. I've included a download link in the description down below. BlueStacks is owned by a California-based company, and investors include Intel, AMD, and also Samsung. Why am I mentioning that? Well, with those investors, you can be assured that this app is going to be a safe experience to install on your PC. One of the things that I really like about BlueStacks, you can install just about any Android app that you want, and you have full access to the Google Play Store. Within BlueStacks, you can configure your game controls, and you can also write macros. With a macro, let's say you're playing an FPS game. Maybe you wanna jump three times and then you wanna throw a grenade. You can program all of that, so all you have to do is press one button and that'll kick off your script. You can also install APKs. An APK is kind of like an EXE on Windows. You can install just about any app you want with this emulator. You can also record your screen, you can take screenshots, and you can even set up multiple instances of BlueStacks. So let's say you wanna play two games at once, or maybe you have a productivity app and you wanna open up two or three instances of it, you can do that. Within settings, you can also tweak the performance. You can set how many cores you wanna to dedicate towards the emulator. You can also configure the memory. You can also adjust the display settings. So you have lots of different settings to tweak the experience. The great thing about BlueStacks is it runs on all major platforms. You can run it on Windows, Mac, and also Linux. This all sounds pretty good, but are there any downsides? Well, one of them is BlueStacks runs an older version of Android, Android version 7, and the current version is Android 11. But this is something that's common with pretty much all emulators. Also, because this emulator is free, you'll find ads and also promoted apps throughout the experience. But hey, you don't have to pay anything, so if you're willing to put up with that, it's actually not bad. And lastly, as an emulator, because it's imitating the Android environment, it's somewhat resource intensive, but you'll find that with all emulators. Next up, we have Game Loop. And once again, just like the last one, you can find a download link in the description down below. Game Loop is developed by a company called Tencent, and that's one of the largest technology companies based out of China. And you could probably tell they have game in the name, and this emulator is primarily intended for gaming. In fact, the company Tencent is the developer of Call of Duty Mobile and also the game PUBG. And in fact, they say that they are the official emulator for these games. So if you're a gamer, this is an emulator that's worth a look. With Game Loop, you have all of the standard controls. You have key mapping, so you could customize your keys. You can also install APKs. So you can install any app that you want, but you don't have access to the Play Store. So it's not quite as easy as BlueStacks is to install any app that you want. With Game Loop, you also can't run multiple instances. In most cases, that's probably good for most people. You could simply play one game at a time, but that is something that some of the other emulators offer. Next up, we have the Nox Player. Once again, you'll find download links in the description down below. The Nox Player is actually pretty similar to BlueStacks. Most apps are compatible and you have access to the Play Store so you can install just about any app or game in this emulator. Here too, you could also configure your key mapping and you also have the ability to install APKs. 
With Nox Player, something unique that I found, you can drag and drop files from your PC into the emulator. So let's say you wanna customize your background, you can do that. With Nox Player, you can also run multiple instances. So once again, if you wanna play two games or if you wanna have a productivity app and a game running side by side, you can do that. You can also record your screen and take screenshots. So maybe you're having an epic streak in one of your favorite games. You can record that so that way all of your friends will believe you. One of the other things I like about Nox Player, it has a very minimalistic look. You have the most used buttons over on the right hand side. At the very bottom you have an ellipsis and that exposes even more controls. All in all though, when you compare it to Bluestacks, they have pretty similar functionality across these two emulators. So what's not to like about Nox Player? Well, once again, just like with the other emulators, the version of Android's a little bit older, but you'll find that across the board. Also, Nox Player, because it's free, they have different ads and they have promoted apps throughout the experience. But hey, that's the cost of using a free app. Next up, we have the Moo Moo emulator. It's kind of like the sound that a cow makes, but it's spelled M-U-M-U. Moo Moo is developed by a company called NetEase. They're a big developer of Android games, and it turns out that they're listed on NASDAQ. It's a $67 billion company, and they're based out of China. So here too, just given the size of the company, I think you can be assured that this is also going to be a safe emulator to install on your PC. So what do I like about the Moo Moo app? Well, first off, it has a lot of the same functionality as what you'll find in Bluestacks and also Knox. You can install just about any app or game through the Play Store. You could customize your keys, you could record your screen, you can install APKs. It has all of that same functionality. One of the unique things that I found is when you open an app or a game, it'll open up a new tab across the top. And that makes it really easy to jump back and forth between the different experiences. On the downsides though, because it is a big gaming company based out of China, they do push a lot of their own titles within the experience. Also, you can't run multiple instances. So as long as you're just okay playing one game or running one productivity app at a time, that's all you'll be able to do. And the number five best emulator, this is the last one today, is LD Player. And this is another one developed by a Chinese company. For whatever reason, it seems like there are a lot of emulators coming out of China. With this one, it has a lot of the same functionality as what we've seen in some of the other emulators. You have access to key mapping, you could write macros, you can install APKs, you could even run multiple instances with this emulator. So once again, it's pretty similar to the others that we've looked at. So what are the downsides? Well, once again, it's a free experience, so there has to be some trade-off. Here, when you install the LD player, they ask you if you wanna install McAfee or Norton, and they try to sideload other apps. But as long as you uncheck the box to install those, you won't get those and you'll only get the emulator. But that's how they try to monetize the use of the app. You'll also see different ads and promoted apps in the experience. But hey, once again, it's a free emulator, so what do you expect? All right, well that covers the five best free Android emulators for PC. And coming soon, Windows 11 is supposed to be able to run Android apps. So as soon as that happens, you might not even have to install an emulator anymore. Let me know down below in the comments, do you personally use any of these emulators or do you recommend any others? If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing and I'll see you next time.